What speaks to you in the stillness, urging you to cherish rather than leave behind meaningful connection that continues sparking life within? What quiet force compels you to revisit instead of firmly closing the door on chapters believed to be over? Pay attention to the clues signaling unfinished business, whispering this is not yet complete, though logic argues otherwise. God may be telling you not to move on from someone because of these signs, faint but hopeful breadcrumbs, pointing the way forward if you choose to follow. Have you parted amicably with someone who once brought out your best, leaving a friendship still pulsing through the season of intensity past? Does your soul still intrinsically acknowledge and reach for theirs across the distance, time, and life choices created between you? God may be highlighting an invisible string still tying you, gentle but resilient, allowing necessary separations without ever actually severing. Encouraging you not to sever it fully in this world, but cultivate quiet expectancy for how your paths may productively intertwine again. Perhaps you watch from afar as they now walk difficult terrain you understand all too well, but cannot presently accompany them through. Your heart whispers words they may not be ready to receive, yet longs to speak in due time. God may be urging you to patience rather than retreat, purposefully creating space for their journey while you remain anchored in steadfast care, praying them through valleys wandering far from where you stand instead of turning inward or moving hastily onto substitutes that cannot replicate such kinship. Trusting change will come, growth will happen, understanding will emerge in the fullness of time if you refuse to disconnect. Or maybe you parted ways when their radiant light eclipsed your own, their season of shining leaving you feeling left behind in the shadows. The natural human response is shame, jealousy, resentment when another's gifts are developed and affirmed before our own. But God may be protecting you from bitterness and nudging you to courageously mine the depths of who you were created to become without resentment. To boldly set aside childish comparisons focused on lack and instead nurture the gifts beginning to stir within. So when they re-enter scene, you will have grown in confidence, character, and calling, ready to champion their purpose rather than compete. There are times we must initiate difficult but necessary endings when relationships become more draining than life-giving outgrowing our current capacity to navigate complexity. We set one another free with grace when ongoing connection would require compromising personal health or integrity of spirit. But even in such finite partings, God leaves hints that futures may yet be interwoven. Potentials not yet ripe for this hour still hold possibilities we dare not rule out for years ahead. Lives intersect for intense seasons, then circle back to reconnect after travels along diverging lanes. Hearts, once fused together, are torn forcibly apart by pain, only to be fused again through fire into something stronger than before. Along the journey, God severs ties prematurely, then surprises us by reweaving bonds we believed past mending holding the space for reconciliation even when anger burns hot and hope flickers dimly, whispering that if two souls once found meaning together, it need not be sealed as the final memory. The end may instead transition gradually into the waiting hush before once again and at last. Pay attention for what breathes beneath the murmurs of friends who urge you on without understanding, connections invisible ties, still holding you in place as they move hastily on. In wild unpredictability, listen for the voice that knows your soul and speaks its language, reminding you that if it was meaningful once, it may be meaningful still. If it shaped you substantially before, Perhaps you are not through needing one another. 
building separately while still tethered at core before embarking together upon promised ventures. In God's design, endings rarely tie up neatly without loose ends or lingering regrets to sort through in time. What appears total completion is often merely the violent breaking of temporary shelters simply because winds blew wild. But the elements themselves speak promise of new life coming tenderly through seasons of decay. So even endings may become transformed into hopeful expectation of returning full circle back to understanding, adventure, inspiration, should we allow room for God's redemption. For love realized once may be realized again at last. Holding that fragile seed of possibility changes how we view what we leave behind. You alone live in the tension between connection past and possibilities unknown. Assess honestly without unnecessary nostalgia, yet respect how profoundly a soul has imprinted yours through paths now diverge. God wastes nothing. If he once joined you as kindred, yet future writing waits unfinished. He may sustain mysterious connection, regardless distance and distractions. While pain prompts moving hastily forward, deeper divine impulse draws gently back instead to carefully recollect reconsider reevaluate whether dormant coals may yet be stirred again to flame not settling for less nor clinging fearfully to the past's empty shells but rediscovering shy beauty awaiting expression if nurtured well linger then and listen as winter's barrenness offers no false comfort the temptation to move quickly onto substitutes offering only illusions of intimacy calls like siren song, yet God beckons you deeper. To dwell in undefined space between seasons fully ended and purposes yet unknown, making room for the fullness of time to reveal what lies waiting to be resurrected, renewed, received just beyond the horizon 